Good day and welcome to AGK's Vinyl Life. I'm your host, Anthony K, and today is Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. And it is definitely July 21st, 2020, and I don't know if any of you noticed, but my last two videos, it was apparently July 12th, <laughs> both days, and neither of those days was really July 12th. Oops! Oh well, the joys of doing videos in one take. But yes, it is July 21st, 2020, and on this week's episode, we're going to be looking at some doom metal, hard rock, garage, psych metal, all from a company called Riding Easy Records. That's right. I'm going to be doing a record label review today uh, about a particular record label that I discovered a couple of years ago. And I've been buying uh, music from them directly for the last couple of years. Uh, some of you might know them, have heard of them. Um, many of you may know it, not have, but Writing Easy Records is a um, record label out of Hermosa Beach, California. The label was started in 2013 as Easy Writer Records, and the name was changed to Writing Easy Records in 2014. Uh, they have their own bands uh, that they sign to them, a lot of unknown, lots of doom metal, psych metal, uh, stoner rock, hard rock, garage, plain up metal, uh, all their artists, um, all pretty much unknowns until they signed to that label. And I discovered them um, because of a series of comp albums purchased, I think it was the fifth in the um, comp series. Uh, I had been reading things about these records for a couple years, reading reviews on them, but I never took the plunge and finally bought one of the comps, and I believe it was the fifth in the series. Immediately loved it. Uh, shortly after that, the sixth came out and I bought it, loved it, and then I went back and purchased the previous four um, because I loved them so much. And these comp albums have been releasing two a year since 2016. Um, but we'll get into those later. And I'm gonna show you what I have so far from writing Easy Records. They don't have a lot of artists and a lot of music, but they have a fair amount. There's still quite a few artists and records on their label that I haven't uh, experimented or or bought anything from. But uh, after the first couple albums, which I'd, I think I bought, I bought one in a record store, uh, one of the comp albums in a record store and another one on Amazon, and then uh, went right back and ordered directly from Writing Easy um, themselves, the, the previous ones. And since then, I've been just ordering direct from Writing Easy Records because all the albums they release, when they release them direct from their website, they obviously come on all sorts of colors, vinyls, limited numbers, limited covers, hand pour, hand pour uh, uh, vinyls, um, vinyl pressings, hand pour. Uh, the pressing quality is really good. I'm really happy. They're all come perfectly flat. Uh, I can't say enough nice things about this label. I'm really impressed with this. You know, it's a small label, independent label, uh, small company. They have a handful of artists and they're getting bigger and bigger. They do have merch, t-shirts, hats, all sorts of things, you know, record weights and and all sorts of things. Um, definitely uh, a genre specific record label, but I highly recommend them if you're any sort of fan of doom metal and metal and hard rock. So let's get on with it. So I only have a few albums from this label. But I'm always watching this label and always, you know, sourcing out when they really have a new artist, a new album come out. I try to listen to it on, you know, wherever. Uh, they do have a YouTube channel. I will put the link to Writing Easy Records YouTube channel in the comments below so you can look them up on YouTube. The, of course, the website is writingeasyrecords.com and, of course, they have a Writing Easy Records Instagram as well. But the first artist I'm going to show you is one of their earliest artists that they um, released on their label back in 2014 uh, and it was originally re released on the Easy Rider label and then repressed on the Writing Easy Records label and this is a I don't have the, there's a couple albums by this 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 band but I've got this one it the band is called Salem's Plot Salem's Plot and this is called Lur Odigpa I can't even pronounce them. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot pronounce the title of this album. Lorar Udigpa Prairien. I don't know if it's German, what that language is, but 
It says Salem's Plot. Salem's Pot. And uh, this is doom metal, hard rock, heavy metal. Doom metal, hard rock, heavy metal. Salem's Pot. I'm just going to censor this back cover because it is a little bit cheeky. And this is a great spin. This is like Black Sabbath's, Sabbath's? Black Sabbath's first album. Yeah, I would compare this to like Black Sabbath's first album. That style of sound. Uh, this is doom metal or hard rock or stoner rock is another word for it. Uh, this particular pressing is on a great marble gray. And the record labels always have these fabulous the records, all the records in their series always have these, one side is, you know, a label something like this, and the other side is always their logo label with a picture under it. And uh, all their pressings are very limited, other than, you know, the black vinyl, um, but all their color pressings are very, very limited. And like I said, I would compare this to something, the sound of this album is very much early Black Sabbath, like the first album. And there's only three songs on this album. Like the first song, it's called Creepy Creepy Purple. And side two just has two songs on it, Dr. Death and Nothing Hill. So yeah, this was, this was one of my first, uh, other than the comp albums, this was one of my first that, that I took a chance on. And most of the albums I bought from this company, I bought pretty much blind buys. I sampled, uh, you know, I did a few song samples on like iTunes or wherever I could find a little song sample but had pretty much all the albums I've ever bought from Riding Re Easy, I've bought unheard and taken a chance on based on reviews and things. So yeah, this is Salem's Pot, very Black Sabbath, early Sabbath. Any fans of Sabbath would probably really like this. Cool album, Salem's Pot, 2015, this pressing, originally released in 2014. Uh, next up is this is more in the hard rock vein. I, this, I wouldn't call this metal. Um, well, it is a little bit of metal. It's metal, hard rock. And if I were to con do, do that Black Sabbath comparison again, I would compare these guys called Electric Citizen, and the name of the album is Helltown. And I would compare this to Black Sabbath, say, in the Sabotage era. Uh, the Sabotage sound of the Sabbath. People that know Black Sabbath know the Sabotage album, my favorite sabbath album this is much more in the veins of black sabbath as sabotage as in the sound of these guys it's hard rock uh and electric citizen are laura dolan on vocals so we have a female vocalist so imagine sabotage being sung by a female vocalist that has a pitch very much like early getty lee and rush like in the very first rush album very high voice um screaming voice um laura dolan vocals uh, Ross Dolan guitar, Nick Vogelpohl bass guitar, and Nate Wagner drums and percussion. This is a great spin. Like I said, reminds me of that Sabotage era of uh, Black Sabbath, and it is called Helltown. Great spin from 2018, and my particular pressing, as like I said, there all the pressings are very limited in the colors. This particular pressing is a yellow vinyl pressing once again showing the writing easy logo electric citizen Halltown, great hard rock metal like i said in the spirit of i'd say black sabbath sabotage with kind of early rush sounding vocals laura laura dolan great metal female metal singer this is stoner rock metal hard rock Great album, Electric Citizen, Helltown, 2018. The next one came out in 2019, and I actually pre-ordered this one because I was so impressed by what I'd been getting from... Uh, I'm at the point now with Writing Easy Records where I pre-order a lot of the albums from them before they even release them because I just really like this record label. Uh, definitely brings something new and different to the metal genre that you won't find anywhere else. And the next one is the second release from a female band, all female members of the band, and they are called Blackwater Holy Light. 
This album came out in the fall 2019. Veils of Winter. Really like this spin. Really like this spin. And Black Water, Holy Light, are Allison, Sonny Ferris, Laura Hopkins, Sarah McKenna, uh, Michaela, Matthew, and Elise Dorsey. And these guys, these girls are great. These girls are great. This is also very Sabbathy sounding, but the vocal, this is doom metal. I would put this more in stoner rock. Stoner rock and doom metal. Um, and the vocals are very ghouly, creepy. Uh, um, I don't know the word for it. Um, like I said, it's doom metal, but it's, no, it's not screaming doom metal. Um, they're just very chanty kind of vocals by the girls. Um, it's got that Sabbathy sound once again, very Sabbath. It's like a female, all female Sabbath. Um, but the vocals are very laid back, very in the background. Lots of guitar driven, like all these albums, heavy guitar driven albums. All these albums that I'm showing you, they're heavy guitar driven albums. This is Blackwater Holy Light, Veils of Winter, Songs on It, uh, Seeping Secrets, Motorcycle, The Protector, Daylight, Death Realm, Spiders, Lullaby, and Moonlit. Great spin. And this one I got the pre order, what they called the Die Hard cover. And the reason they call it the Die Hard cover is because. A few years ago, the entire Die Hard movie series was released on DVD, and they had these shiny silver covers on them. So they're calling this the Die Hard cover, uh, when actually it's yeah, the regular cover isn't this shiny, shiny silver. You'll just get a, a standard black and white picture in the in the regular cover. But I've got the Die Hard cover, and this was released on a clear vinyl. It was limited to only a hundred pressings uh, because this was a pre-order. Uh, the Die Hard version, deluxe Die Hard version, pre-order. Blackwater Holy Light, give them a listen. Veils of Winter from two, from the fall of 2019. Next up, also from the fall of 2000, shortly after that, uh, came this one by a band called Holy Serpent. And this album's called M Endless. And this too is doom metal or stoner rock, hard rock. Do metal, Holy Serpent, Endless. Another great spin. Holy Serpent, Endless. Long songs on it. The songs on it are Lord Deceptor, Into the Fire, Daughter of the Light, Hourglass for No One, Marijuana Trench. And this is an Australian band that was picked up by Riding Easy Records. An Australian band. And... Uh, Great stuff. This is great stuff. And this is pressed on a sort of purple marble. My particular one pressing is on this purple vial with the Riding Easy logo on one side. Holy Serpent Endless. And once again, this is Doom Metal. Stoner Rock Doom Metal again. Great spin long drudging songs that are just creepy as all get out um but great great stuff if you're in, you know I'm a, i love my metal and i'm always trying to experimenting with our other metal bands but yeah try these guys holy serpent endless a great spin also from the fall of 2019 right around christmas i believe this came out i might be wrong but that's when i got it holy serpent endless more doom metal. Now the next one I'm going to show, and this one is from this year. And this could be the first record because I was, the minute I put it on, I think this is my favorite album so far by any of the bands released um, by ID, Writing Easy Records. Not that the first four I showed you, there's anything wrong with them. They're all fabulous doom metal, stoner rock, psych, psych rock, heavy metal, whatever you want. Fan, fabulous albums. But this fifth album that I'm going to show you. I just received about a month and a half ago, after it was delayed because of a certain situation in the world, delayed the release of the pressing. And uh, it was supposed to come out at the beginning of March. But it finally shipped to me, I think, late April or mid-May or something, or maybe end of May. And I think this is my favorite album by a band signed to riding easy records i like holy serpent like black water holy light like salem's pot like electric citizen but these guys this is their first album 
and I highly recommend this. And this could be the first album, uh, first new release of 2020 that might that might make my top 10 of the second half of 2020. If you saw my top 10 of the first half of 2020 video, this one is definitely going to be a contender for top 10 of the second half of 2020. The band are called The Goners. That's right, The Goners. The album's called Good Morning. Not morning, morning. Good morning, The Goners. This is a fantastic spin. This is garage rock, stoner rock, hard rock. Um, the perfect name for the group because you just hear the name The Goners and you can imagine them. This reminds me of, you know, almost early punk almost. It's got definitely got some punk influence in there. There's like punk, garage, um, hard rock in there. These guys are great. I, the songs are so catchy on it. I love this album. I, the first time I, it's one of those albums, the first time I put it on, I was just like, wow, this is great stuff. This is, of course, one of the first pressings, and this is on a transparent blue vinyl with the Riding Easy logo once again. Check them out. Go to the Rising, Riding Easy uh, YouTube channel. Like I said, it'll be in the link below. You can hear a lot of songs from this album. This album just is cooking. This album is just Go, go, go. Rock out. Rock out on this album. The Goners, Good Morning, the songs, Are You Gone Yet, High, Low, and Never In Between, World of Decay, Evil Is Not Enough, Good Old Death, The Sickening, Down and Out. Down and Out is fantastic. Wow. You Better Run, The Little Blue, Dead in the Saddle, which is a Dead Moon cover. And uh, the members of the band, <laughs> get the members of the band. The members of the band are Nate Gone on lead guitar vocals and guitars. Mick Dagger on guitars and vocals. Timo Tinto on bass and vocals. Vic Odin, drums, percussion, and vocals. And last but not least, Grave Dave. On lead guitar and vocals. These guys are sick. These guys are fantastic. I love them. Uh, really impressed with their first album. Love it. Great spin. Of the five I showed you, this is my favorite. It is in high rotation right now. This just rocks out this album. The Goners, Good Morning. Get it. You won't be disappointed. Fantastic. Hard rock, garage rock, stoner rock. A little bit of punk in there. Love it. So last but not least in my video... Now I'm going to talk about that Psych collection that I was talking about and that started my whole trip with Riding Easy Records. Um, it, I got number five in the series after reading many reviews, like I said. The series started in 2016 and what they have done is they've put out two volumes a year. Every six months they release another volume and as of this March, the final, it's not the final volume, but the tenth volume of these comps came out and the series, and you've probably heard of it before and seen a few other people showing it before. But, oh, look at this big box. The series is called Brown Acid. That's right, Brown Acid. And this is the very, very limited edition, super del deluxe edition collector's box that they released this year with the 10th volume. And it holds all 10 of the previous volumes. So when you ordered this particular one, then there was only 125 of these pressed. So good luck getting. I don't know if there's any still available. Good luck getting the box set like this. And uh, there were only 10 of these, uh, 125 of these pressed that included this box to hold all the other volumes. But this is brown acid, 10 trips. This is all 10 trips. We'll open it up here and we'll go through the 10 trips here. And originally, like I said, this series pull them out this series started in 2016 and they've made every six months they've released another volume like i said i started in on the fifth volume and these comps are curated by i believe it was uh, compiled by lance baresi from permanent records and daniel hall from writing easy records and these guys this is not just your average comps. Like I said, most comps are, you know, top 40 hits. They're comps of songs we all know. These comps are comps of stuff that until now has never found its way 
Uh, all most of this stuff was released on independent 45s, independent albums, um, things that were repressed very, very small quantity. And all the music on this Brown Acid series is from the middle late 60s, like 67 or 68 on to about 78. It's all garage, hard rock, metal, not really so much metal, but it's hard rock, you know, acid rock, psych rock, um, just a fantastic collection of songs. Each album has, you know, 10, 11, 12 songs on them and 10 trips. Now we're talking 120 20 songs or, or so now. I couldn't even begin to name songs. Every spin it has got its great songs and it's not so great songs, but the, but the, all the albums actually flow right through. And these guys at Riding Easy have done a fantastic job with this Brown Acid series. They go to the trouble of putting notes for every song on the back, on the covers of the albums. They, they research the songs. Uh, they find all the information out about the songs that are on the albums, like I said, and most of these songs are obscure, from obscure, they've, they've pulled them from obscurity. Um, bands that never went anywhere, they're like, like I said, things that were on 45s, um, and they're not just, they haven't just, you know, stolen these songs and stuck them on a comp record. They've actually gone and found, you know, they found these 45s wherever in, probably in record shows and whatnot, and dug these things out of goodness knows where. And um, some of you know, a few of them are album tracks from albums that, you know, probably never saw more than a few pressings. Done the research and actually have tracked down the artists to pay them to use these songs. So the artists, you know, 40, 50 years later are finally getting their due and finally getting, you know, getting something because every rec album that they've every song that's put on these albums they've actually licensed and actually got the rights to use and have actually gone and found the artists or surviving members of the artist uh to give them their day you know their day is too so brass is brown acid this is the first trip this is from i believe 2015 actually 16 i think when it was finally released on vinyl but this was the first trip i'm not going to go into the details about the songs just trust me all this music is fantastic uh, but you do have songs on here. Just to give you an example, we'll do one album here. You know, you got the Zeeks uh, doing uh, doing Box from 1970. Snow doing Sunflower from 1969. Tour, one of the bad guys, 1979. Zebra doing Wasted, 1971. Bob, Good Sight, Phase One from 1972. Raw Meat, Stand By Girl from 1969. Punch by Death Ad. Uh, Death Punch doing Death Ad. From 1970, Bacchus doing Carry My Lead from 1969, Lenny Drake, Love Eyes from 1970, The Ted doing Mystify Me from 1974, and Josephus Hard Luck from 1979. And they even show where the bands came from. We got a band from Los Angeles, California, Camden, New Jersey, Freeport, Illinois, Hollywood, California, Detroit, Michigan, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, New York City, New York, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Farmington, Michigan, Youngstown, Ohio, and Houston, Texas. And each album, they, they do the same thing on each album. They show you where the songs came from. There's songs here from Canada, all from Canada and all over the U.S. Uh, I can't remember if there's any European things on here. Um, but all the albums, this is the first trip. And my particular version is on a green vinyl. That is the first volume. And six months later, they would release the second trip. And here we have yet another 10 brilliant songs. And there's actually groups here from New Zealand as well. There's a group from New Zealand, one song on here from a group from New Zealand. So, I mean, these guys from, come from everywhere. This is volume two, the second trip, six months later. In 2016, volume three, the third trip. And you've got people here from Seattle, Washington, Australia, Illinois, California, Texas, England, East Sussex, England, Ohio, Colorado, Michigan, another Texas, another Michigan. This is the third trip. 
fantastic. Every one of these, you will find songs that you maybe don't like, but the majority, I love this series. I love this series, and I, I gather they're going to keep doing this series, and I just look forward to every every pressing that comes out. And I think, what was the, the second one on? The second was on a yellow. I think the third I have a regular black pressing of. And this is the fourth trip. Fourth trip. And there's, you know, some of these, like this song in here, previously unreleased. You know, they found a song that was nobody, it was never released. And so, you know, you have unreleased music on here. Now we got groups here from Texas, Idaho, Ohio, Washington, California, Illinois, Australia again, Indiana. This is the fourth trip, Brown Acid, Heavy Rock from the Underground Come Down. The name of these albums says it all. The fourth trip, and this was also on a black vinyl. And this was the first one I ever bought, the fifth trip. This this is when one that started me on the on my trip <laughs> to doing the trips. Uh, Brown Acid Fifth Trip. You got groups from Ohio, Maryland, Wisconsin, Quebec, Canada, Texas, British Columbia, Canada, Ohio, California, Alabama. Brown Acid the Fifth Trip. Fantastic. Rock, rock, rock. Can't, I can't speak more highly about these albums. I was originally saving this comp collection for a comp video I'm planning, and I know there's a thread right out there on Show Your Comps, and I was originally going to save the Brown Acid series for a comp video that I have been planning for over a month, but I was looking at all the comps that I have, and I have so many that I want to do in that video that adding 10 volumes of the Brown Acid would have just made that video so long. So because I like writing Easy Records so much, I decided to to devote a video just to the Brown Acid and Writing Easy Records uh, video. But there is another comp video coming very, excuse me, coming very soon. Another comp video coming very soon where I'll be looking at other comps. But this series, my gosh. Sixth trip. And now we're up to 2018 with the sixth trip. Like I said, two trips per year. For five years, they've been doing these trips for a total of 10 tri trips to date. And uh, we got bands from Toronto, Canada, California, Ohio. Iowa, Missouri, Illinois. There we have it. Brown Athed, six trip, heavy rock from the underground. Come down. Seventh trip. We're into 2018, still on the seventh trip. Another 10 songs. And like I said, detailed liner notes. On all the songs, they talk about where they found the songs, all about the artists. Uh, what was this fifth and sixth were on? I think the fifth, oh, fifth was on this green. The sixth was on a black. And the seventh on a white. This is the seventh trip. Great stuff. I can't, I can't speak more highly about I think this is one of the best comp series ever made by anybody because, like I said, it's not just top 40 hits uh, sp splashed together on a comp album. This is stuff that never would see the light of day if it wasn't for these guys at, at Writing Easy Records doing this Brown Acid series. All these wonderful artists and bands and singles that were lost by the wayside finally getting put on an album and getting mass produced and sent out to the world. Um, and those artists getting their, finally getting their day, their day of fame. So I don't look at these so much as comp albums, or just, I look at them just as new albums of new releases by great artists that were, you know, long forgotten, or never, you know, like never saw the light of day. Uh, here we are, eighth trip from last year, I believe. Yep, 2019, Brown Acid, the eighth trip. I love this spin. This one's a really great one. This one. It's hard for me to pick up because every album has great songs on it. Um, if I were to pick a single one from the series that I love more, it's hard to say. Uh, it's really hard to say, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Some great stuff on here. We've got bands from Michigan, Texas, Toronto, Canada, New Jersey, Ohio, Iowa, Tennessee, Massachusetts. Uh, just fantastic garage, hard rock, metal, everything you can imagine. And like I said, the period in all of these albums range from about 1967 to 1978, 79, the songs. Most of them hovering around 1970 to 74, 69 to 74.
Brownhouse of the Eighth Trip from 2019, early 2000, about 2019. We have trip number nine, which came out in the fall of this year. Trip number nine, Brown Acid trip number nine, another 10 great songs. Heavy Rock from the Underground Come Down. Can't go wrong. Groups here are from Minnesota, California, Michigan, New York, Kentucky, uh, New York, Indiana, Texas, Pennsylvania. Fantastically curated. And these songs, you know, they sound great. The pressings are really great. They're really well mastered. You know, I mean, most of these things, like I said, have been taken from 45s. And they would find the cleanest 45 possible to make the pressing from, to, you know, because they don't have tapes. You know, they're having to produce tapes from, from a lot of 45s and things. I mean, some things they did find tapes for. But a lot of these things were taken from, you know, 7-inch singles. And they've done a jo wonderful job of cleaning them up mastering them and pressing them on these albums and they sound great they really do sound great they don't sound tacky or trashy at all the, the sound quality is really great on all these albums ninth trip and then from this year and it was delayed also because of a certain situation and this actually this this tenth and final trip arrived with my goners album they they both arrived together uh and of course like i said i got the tenth trip in the super deluxe edition which included the box to hold the previous nine trips as well and this is the tenth trip, and you can see the cover is similar to the box. And this is the tenth trip, number ten. And from what I gather, they are not done. Even though this box only holds the first ten trips, they, as they said in the on the back of the box, uh, box this box holds the first ten trips, and hopefully in another five years there'll be another box holding yet another ten trips. So they're not done yet. Uh, I look forward to whenever the eleventh trip comes out. But there's the first 10 trips. I cannot speak cannot speak higher of this series. This is a fantastic comp series for all you lovers of stoner rock, garage rock, hard rock, um, from, like I said, 67 to 79. Such a fruitful period in rock history. And all these things finally getting their day. Um, to, to For example, on this 10th trip, you've got Sound syn Synonymous, called Tensions from 1969. They're from Flint, Michigan. Ralph Williams and the Wright Brothers, Never Again from 1972, from Eureka, California. Conception by Babylon, 1969, from Louisville, Kentucky. Bitter Creek by Plastic Thunder from 1970, from Atlanta, Georgia. Rubber Memory, Altogether, 1970, New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, and then on side B, First State Bank, Mr. Sun, 1970, from Dallas, Texas. Brothers, and one hard on me from 1975 from Cape, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Frozen Sun by uh, Electric Soul from 1969 from Tucson, Arizona. Brood, The Roach from 1969, Birmingham, Alabama. Tabernash, Head Collect, 1969 from Iowa City, Iowa. So the 10th and final trip, Brown Acid. And of course this one was a hand pour. Like I said, and this is a hand pour vinyl. If you've ever seen hand pour, this is a hand pour split of a green and black. Hand pour split, green and black. This was limited to, to only 125 copies uh, on this particular color of vinyl. Uh, the brown acid, the ninth trip, was on a, a, a kind of a blue. I think, did I show you the eighth trip? The eighth trip was on a purple marble. And that is the entire Brown Acid series of albums. Riding Easy Records. Check them out. RidingEasy.com, I believe it's called. Uh, they do have a YouTube channel, which I will put a link to uh, below in the video. A great record label. Great rep record label. The Brown Acid series, fantastic, worth checking them out alone. But like I said, they have some fantastic, fantastic groups uh, that are pressed exclusively with them, like the Goners. Uh, and that's it. That's my review of Writing Easy Records. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my video. Uh, comments welcome down below, as usual. And don't forget to look me up on Instagram, where I try to post my spin of the day every day. And my Instagram is, of course, at AGK underscore Lifetime of Vinyl. 
that's it. That's all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check out Writing Easy Records. Check out the Brown Acid uh, com compilation series. Check out the Goners, uh, Holy Serpent, Black Water, Holy Light, Electric Citizen, uh, Salem's Plot, and even uh, some of the other great artists they've got signed. And uh, I'd love to hear any comments. Have you tried any of the other artists that are signed to uh, Writing Easy Records? If so, uh, comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of the other, some of the other artists that are signed to that label. Check them out. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next week.